Hey everyone and welcome. I've got some cutting edge cryptocurrency technology to share with you today and that is the Balancer protocol for programmable liquidity. So if you've not heard of Balancer before, there's a lot going on here. It's a decentralized exchange, it's an automated market maker and it allows you to earn in three separate ways price appreciation of your underlying assets, trading fees from liquidity pools, and distribution of the BAL token. So if this is something that you're interested in, you want to learn more about Balancer, how to start earning, or even how this automated market maker system works, then stick with me because this video is designed for you. Hey everyone and welcome, I'm Robert with Altcoin Buzz and today we're taking an in-depth look into the Balancer protocol. So the first thing I want to point out is that Balancer has a lot going on. So this video is going to be divided into two separate parts. The first part is going to be a general overview and then the second part I'm going to go through and show you step by step how to use Balancer for your advantage. So the first thing that I want to do is basically describe Balancer and how it works. Balancer has two sides to it. It has an exchange side, a decentralized exchange, and then it has a liquidity provider side. And I want to describe the decentralized exchange first because that's going to lead in to the fact of how it works for liquidity providers. So the first thing that you'll notice, you go to Balancer Finance, you can click on exchange. And it's just a decentralized exchange. If you've ever used Uniswap or something like that, you're really familiar with how this works. Let's suppose that I want to trade basic attention token for comp token. I simply select what assets that I want to trade for and I can place my trade. Now, obviously, um, right now Ethereum gas fees are really high, so there's really no need for me to do a trade, but I would simply click unlock. It would pull up my dialogue here on MetaMask and I would confirm the trade and then I would and I would initialize it, then I would actually go through with the trade, obviously. Um, there's no need to do that just for a demo, but that's how it works. So decentralized exchange, pretty easy to understand. However, I'm gonna show you why this is different because when I click on order routing, at the bottom we see different kind of pools. And this is what makes Balancer different because Uniswap, other decentralized exchanges, basically work on the trading pair principle. So you can trade basic attention token for DAI. You can trade Ethereum for USDC coin. But what Balancer does is it can route your order through multiple protocols. So it might trade from basic attention token to comp token to DAI to Ethereum, right? So it can go through a lot of different protocols for you. And that's one of the things that makes it unique, not just from the supply side as a trader making a trade, but also as a liquidity provider. And what I mean by that is that balancer pools are not simply limited to two specific assets. So again, if you were contributing to a different liquidity pool, it might ask you to put in a 50 50 split of Ethereum and basic attention token. So that would mean that you have to have equal amounts of both of these to begin providing liquidity. But with Balancer, it allows you to combine up to eight different assets in one liquidity pool. So if we take a look and we kind of scroll through some of these, we see that this liquidity pool has wrapped Bitcoin, wrapped Ethereum, Aave, Ren, Link, Bal, and Band. This is something that simply isn't possible with a lot of other protocols. So let's suppose that I want to provide liquidity. Instead of simply being limited to a 50-50 split, I can choose any of these cryptocurrency protocols that I want to provide liquidity to. So let's suppose that, just for example, I believe that Balancer token is going to be relatively bullish. I could invest in this protocol that splits between 80% BAL and 20% wrapped Ethereum. Let's suppose, on the other hand, that I just wanted to take advantage of trading fees between wrapped Bitcoin and wrapped Ethereum. This might be a protocol for me. So you can really scroll through this list and choose whatever protocol works best for you. And here's the thing that I like the most. Let's suppose that I am bullish on Bitcoin and Ethereum and I want to enjoy the price appreciation from those assets. All I have to do is go to add liquidity and I can put in a 50-50 split. However, if I only have a single asset, I can put in that single asset and it's automatically going to split it into these various different um, various different pools for me. So basically, it allows you to take a single asset that you have and immediately diversify it into a cryptocurrency type index. So let's suppose that I have basic attention token and I want to diversify. Now I could go to Uniswap or some other place and trade some basic attention token for Link, some basic attention token for Yearn Finance, for Lend, for Wrapped Ethereum. But the cool thing about Balancer is you can take one asset that you have and automatically diversify it 
up to seven different other cryptos. So this pool here, we can see that it has a variety of assets. If I want to add liquidity, I could contribute the amounts in the specified percentages, or I could click single asset, go to my basic attention token, click max, and what it's going to do is it's going to take that basic attention token and it's automatically going to trade it for me so that instead of having 171 basic attention token, I will have the same dollar value, but it will be distributed among these different cryptocurrencies in relationship to the pool. So if you have wrapped Ethereum and you want to diversify, you can easily diversify into eight different assets just with one simple click. So that's a huge advantage for you. So once you diversify, that's kind of the number one thing. Balancer allows you to earn from price appreciation. So if the price of link goes up, then obviously the link that I own in that portfolio is going to go up. If maker goes up, the maker token that I own in that portfolio is going to go up. Not only that, but balancer allows us to earn trading fees. So anytime an order, remember when I was showing you on the decentralized exchange screen and I was showing you how the order is routed through different pools. When that happens, balancer gives you a proportion of those fees. So Currently, the swap fee for this pool is 0.4%. So if there's a $1,000 trade that is made through this pool, then we're going to get $4 of that. And that's going to be distributed based on your stake in the pool, right? So if there's a $1,000 trade, the pool gets $4. Let's suppose I have 50% uh, of the assets in that pool. I'm going to get $2 out of that trade. So I'm earning from price appreciation. I am earning from the trading fees, and then I'm also earning through the distribution of the balancer token. Now, I will not go into all the technical details of how the balancer token works, but just know that that is like a bonus reward. So if you provide liquidity to these pools, you're not only going to get the trading fees, the price appreciation, but you're also going to be receiving distributions of the BAL token as long as you contribute to a pool that is eligible, which is most of them. So that's kind of an overview of what you can do through balancer now let's get into a little bit more advanced topics here so let's suppose that you're looking through these pools and you say you know what i just really don't see a pool that i really like maybe instead of 50 50 wrapped eth and wrapped bitcoin maybe i want 40 percent wrapped bitcoin 40 percent wrapped eth and 20 percent basic attention token you can actually create your own pool so I've connected my wallet and let's see what I have in my wallet. I have some uni. So let's suppose we're going to make a pool with Uniswap, basic attention token, and let's go with compound. So it allows me to choose what assets I want in my pool and then I can weight my pool. So Uniswap, let's have it compose 80% of the pool, basic attention token 10 and comp is going to be 10 as well. So that's the distribution of our pool. So whenever someone adds liquidity, they have to add liquidity in those proportions, or they can do the single asset and it will be diversified for them, but it's going to maintain that distribution within the pool. So that is the weight. Now we have to decide the actual amount. So let's suppose that we start off with 10 uni swap, right? If we put in 10 uni, it's automatically going to say how much bat and how much comp should go into that pool as well. Once we do that, we're having to unlock our assets. Again, I'm not going to go through with this because as you can see, ETH gas fees are absolutely ridiculous right now, but we would unlock our assets, we would contribute, and then our pool would be started. So not only can we do that, but we also get to create our own trading fee. So that's adjustable. So Balancer really gives you a lot of control over this. Now, one of the questions that you're probably wondering at this point is, okay, this all sounds really cool, but how much can I actually make? So one of the cool things is that there's actually a website known as pools.vision, which allows you to easily estimate how much you're going to make from a given pool. So let's suppose that I have some basic attention token that I want to lend. I simply type BAT into this form and it's going to pull up all the available basic attention token pools that are on balancer. So it's pulled up the pools and we can see that there's different options depending on what we're looking for. So we could do 40% BAT, 60% wrapped Ethereum, 50-50. We could go into a pool that's more diversified. It's totally up to you. But the cool thing here is that it shows you what the APY is on these pools. So right here with the uh, BAT wrapped Ethereum, it's about 67%. With the BAT wrapped Ethereum, 46%, right? So it it's really good because it shows you the different pools that are available so you can kind of decide what you want to contribute to. 
and as well as giving you the AP. So in summary, Balancer is a really interesting protocol because it has so many features all packed into one. On one hand, it is a decentralized exchange. On the other hand, it's kind of like a cryptocurrency index fund that will allow you to deposit one cryptocurrency and split it into a pool of eight different cryptocurrencies. It's a place for earning trading fees. It's a way to get distributions of the BAL token. So there's a lot going on with Balancer. And I hope that this video covered some of the basics so you have a little bit understanding of what Balancer is, what it does, as well as some of the ways that you can actually use it. So as always, thanks for watching the video. I hope you found it useful and I look forward to seeing you next time.